RLVTD is the first unmanned flying testbed developed for the Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO's reusable launch vehicle technology demonstration program. It is a scaled-down prototype of an eventual two-stage to orbit TSTO reusable launch vehicle. The RLVTD successfully completed its first test flight on the 23rd of May 2016, which lasted for 770 seconds and reached a maximum altitude of 65 kilometers (40 miles). It was designed to evaluate various technologies, and development of the final version is expected to take 10 to 15 years. The fully developed RLV is expected to take off vertically like a rocket, deploy a satellite in orbit, return to Earth, and land on a runway. Topic development and history RLV-TD was developed by ISRO under the RLV Technology Demonstration Program. The Technology Demonstration Program consists of development of hypersonic rocket with air-breathing engines and the reusable launch vehicle. Engines In January 2006, ISRO completed the design, development and tests of Scramjet supersonic air -breathing engine at its Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Tiruvananthapuram. During the ground tests, stable supersonic combustion with an inlet Mach number of 6 was demonstrated for 7 seconds. On 3 March 2010, ISRO successfully conducted the flight test of its new sounding rocket ATVD-01 from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. ATVD-01 weighed 3 tons at lift-off and was the heaviest sounding rocket ever developed by ISRO at the time. It was mounted with a passive scramjet engine. The rocket flew for 7 seconds, achieved Mach number of 6 plus 0.5 and dynamic pressure 80 plus 35 kilopascals. Topic: Reusable launch vehicle. In January 2012, the design of ISRO's reusable launch vehicle was approved by the National Review Committee and clearance was granted to build the vehicle. The vehicle was named, Reusable Launch Vehicle Technology Demonstrator, RLVTD. ISRO aims to bring down the cost of payload delivery to low Earth orbit by 80% from existing $20,000 per kilogram to $4,000 per kilogram. The RLVTD was developed with an objective to test various aspects such as hypersonic flight, autoland, powered cruise flight, hypersonic flight using the air breathing engine propulsion, and hypersonic experiment. Series of four RLVTD test flights are planned by ISRO: HEX (Hypersonic Flight Experiment), LEX (Landing Experiment), REX (Return Flight Experiment), and SPEX (Scramjet Propulsion Experiment). A team of 750 engineers at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, National Aeronautical Laboratory, IITs, and Indian Institute of Science worked on the design and development of RLVTD and the associated rocket. RLVTD underwent 120 hours of wind tunnel, 5,000 hours of computational fluid dynamics, and 1,100 runs of flight simulation tests. RLVTD has mass of 1.75 tons, wingspan of 3.6 meters, and overall length of 6.5 meters, excluding the rocket. The vehicle had 600 heat-resistant tiles on its undercarriage, and it features delta wings and angled tail fins. Total cost of the project was 95 crore rupees equivalent to 102 crore rupees or 14.8 million dollars in 2018. Future planned developments include testing an air breathing propulsion system which aims to capitalize on the oxygen in the atmosphere instead of liquefied oxygen while in flight. Topic: <laughs> Hypersonic flight experiment. The hypersonic flight experiment HEX, first of the five test flights was conducted on 23 May 2016. The sub-orbital test flight was launched at 7 o'clock IST Greenwich mean time from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota 80 km 50 miles north of Chennai. 
The test flight lasted for 770 seconds, reached maximum altitude of 65 kilometers (40 miles), and covered a distance of 450 kilometers (280 miles). Sriharikota steered itself to an on-target splashdown to land ditch at a designated spot in the Bay of Bengal. Not designed to float, the vehicle disintegrated on impact with water and was not recovered. RLVTD was mounted on top of and launched aboard a single stage solid fuel booster, HS9 booster that was derived from strap on boosters flown on India's Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. By the time, the booster consumed its solid propellant in 91 seconds, the RLVTD separated from its boost stage and peaked to a sub-orbital altitude of about 65 km 40 miles. The heat shield, guidance, navigation and control algorithms were tested at hypersonic speed by accurately steering the vehicle during the descent stage. For the descent back, the test vehicle was programmed to pitch its nose up, exposing silica tiles on its underside and reinforced carbon-carbon nose cap to the airflow into the thick lower layers of the atmosphere. The RLVTD endured high temperatures of descent through the atmosphere due to its thermal protection system. All stages of the test flight were tracked by ground station at the launch site and a shipborne terminal. All the mission objectives were met and technologies like autonomous navigation, guidance and control, reusable thermal protection system and descent mission management were successfully validated. <laughs> <laughs> Future developments The second experiment in RLVTD series Lex would be an airdrop test where the prototype will be equipped with landing gear to perform an autonomous landing on a runway. The RLVTD is being designed and built at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Its navigational equipment was supplied by the ISRO Inertial Systems Unit in Tiruvananthapuram and ISRO's Satellite Applications Center in Ahmedabad. The RLVTD's landing gear was supplied by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. ISRO plans to carry out the landing experiment Lex on a military runway at Chalakere in Chitradurga district. The flight article will be carried to an altitude of 3 km by a helicopter and released to land autonomously at the airstrip. In other experiments, ISRO intends to carry out an orbital re entry experiment and a scramjet propulsion experiment using a reusable carrier vehicle. ISRO Chief K. Sivan stated that the agency had many experiments planned for the RLVTD, but would only focus on them from 2019, as it was occupied with other missions. HEX hypersonic flight experiment completed on the 23rd of May 2016. LEX landing experiment June July 2019. REX return flight experiment TBA. SPEX scramjet propulsion experiment TBA. Topic See also Gaganyaan, a planned crewed orbital spacecraft by India Indian Institutes of Technology